waterproof liner terrain. It's got a roll-on, a vinyl, and a sheet membrane. It's three different options. It looks like a great product for do-it-yourself. I know shower linings, even in the trades, they often get improperly installed. And this, this, I'm, I'm going to play around with these. They look like this could be the solution to uh, a better, durable shower pan that goes in. Uh, when we're at the point we need to fully remodel shower. Have you played with it? Have you seen that or played around with that at all? Well, I haven't. Uh, most of our tile people are using the Schluter system. Schluter, Schluter. That's the one that we're using most often. So, Claire, you were already aware of all your options. You can repair or you can replace. But I don't think I would advise covering a cracked one-piece fiberglass shower unit. Um, look at the repair. I think it's going to be your absolute most cost-effective method. Uh, and like I say, when they repair, uh, the, just the nature of fiberglass, it, it is virtually as good as new. So I hope that helps and gives you a, a couple ideas. Greg's called in. Let's see if we can welcome Greg to the conversation, see how we might be able to help him. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was calling, I was talking to your wife about the uh, a pigeon problem that I've had since I've lived out here in Buckeye for almost three years now. I was going to put a system up, a pigeon control and wiring system up there, but never have yet. But I did have some guys out about a month ago from a, a, a pest control company who does pigeon control systems. And they found some damage up there where my house on the top floor, the two-story house out in Buckeye, written about a six foot section of stucco where the stucco has been stripped off of the, 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 the plywood in the styrofoam and it's stripped down to the, the bare plywood and, and a little bit of chicken wire running left over there. And he didn't know whether the contract built the house, he didn't finish that part of the house and just left it because you can't see it from the ground. Those pigeons have actually torn it up to that extent. They can do that, but they're, they're pretty monstrous pigeons if that's what's happened because the stucco has literally been torn off and he sent me some pictures on my email where you can see the bare plywood with just the chicken wire covering over it, and you can see where the chicken wire is kind of like pulled up some. But he couldn't tell, because it's not like a clean border where the star foam ends and it goes to the bare plywood. It's not clean, it's like a jagged cut there that almost looks like it's been pegged and torn out by the flying rats, but I don't know if that's the case or not, he didn't know either. But I need to get that fixed before I get the basic control system put up, because he said, They'll, they'll just take it down when, when whatever system they put up there, they put up the wires, the spikes, or whatever. Um, they'll just, uh, they'll take the base the control system down to fix this damaged uh, stucco and plant uh, a styrofoam up there. That'd be 